Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Peking University has just released a King Bomb, the world's first photon clock chip has come out. How awesome is this thing? Equipped with atomic clocks in the electronic world, the time measurement accuracy is directly reduced to one hundred billionth of a second. Foreign media are so anxious that they are jumping up and down. The Chinese have changed lanes and overtaken in the science and technology track again, and they can't keep up with China's pace. Traditional electronic clock chips are like old mechanical watches, and there are always errors in running time. Why does mobile phone navigation sometimes drift? It's because the chip timing is off by one thousandth of a second. Peking University's photon chip is amazing. The error is directly compressed to 0.3 nanoseconds, which is equivalent to the error of optical fiber transmission from Beijing to Shanghai not exceeding the diameter of a hair. What's more amazing is that this chip is only the size of a grain of rice, and the power consumption is reduced to one thousandth of traditional products. Do you want to ask how important this technology is? Let's put it this way, when the Beda satellite was stuck, the biggest pain point was the onboard atomic clock. The US GPS can be accurate to the meter level, relying on the palm-sized atomic clock device. Now the photon chip of Peking University directly miniaturizes the atomic clock into a fingernail, and once it is installed on the Beda satellite, the positioning accuracy directly soars from the meter level to the centimeter level. The chief engineer of the European Galileo system has to buy a plane ticket to Beijing overnight after seeing this technology. Just look at the hardcore data and you will understand how shocking it is. The photon clock chip that will be mass-produced in June 2023 can complete the calculation amount of traditional chips in one second. Why is Musk's Starlink satellite in a hurry to find China for OEM? It is because China's chips can increase the synchronization accuracy between satellites by 300 times. What's even more ruthless is the cost. The imported equipment with the same performance costs 3 million yuan per unit and the Peking University chip is directly reduced to 200,000 yuan, saving 90% of the electricity bill. But this is not the best. The Quantum Laboratory of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has installed this chip in the Zhejiang quantum computer. The timing system that originally required a football field size can now be done with just a shoebox. Do you know what this means? In the battle for quantum supremacy, China has gained another trump card. The engineers in Google Lab are now studying Chinese papers like crazy, just to figure out how the Chinese did it. Many people must be eager to know how this black technology was broken through. A team of professors from Peking University played a time and space magic and used photons instead of electrons to transmit signals. Traditional electrons run like a traffic jam in the morning rush hour in silicon chips while photons are racing on the fiber-optic highway. 
What's more amazing is that they have developed time and space modulation technology, which makes light pulses more punctual than Swiss watchmakers. This trick directly overturned the electronic timekeeping table that the West has played for 60 years. As for application scenarios, they are blooming everywhere. Shenzhen's autonomous driving companies have already placed batch orders. The laser radar equipped with this chip has a recognition accuracy from decimeter level to millimeter level. The Shanghai Stock Exchange directly replaced all the trading system clocks with Peking University chips. With 3 million transactions per second, there is no need to worry about time confusion. Even the navigation of ordinary people's mobile phones will enjoy submeter accuracy starting next year. By then, you don't need a magnifying glass to find a roadside pancake stand. But what makes the West most vulnerable is China's industrial chain layout. Yangtze Memories 3D Flash Memory Plus Huawei's packaging technology plus Peking University's photonic chips China's semiconductor iron triangle has officially taken shape. The president of ASML in the Netherlands stamped his feet in anxiety. The lithography machine has not been blocked yet and the Chinese have opened up a new battlefield. If you ask me, this is the technological version of you fight yours, I fight mine. We don't fight them to death on the old track, but directly plant the red flag in the new world. Five years ago, the United States cut off the supply of atomic clock chips forcing the BEDA team to work all night. Looking back now, isn't that a booster for Chinese technology? From quantum communication to 6G network, from deep space exploration to brain-computer interface, precise timing is the oxygen of the digital age. Peking University's breakthrough tells us that core technology breakthroughs are never multiple choice questions, but must answer questions for survival. So don't look at some countries wielding sanctions now. In the face of real innovation, all blockades will become a joke. This small photon clock chip not only redefines Chinese precision, it also announces to the world that China is already ahead in the main arena of the fourth industrial revolution. What do you think of this?